Ever After Beauty Supply. Yes, Ever After Beauty Supply. They sent me, what is it? A Bishop PMU machine. This is a 3.5 millimeter stroke machine with the Critical Connect Shorty battery. This comes together as a bundle right now on the Ever After Beauty Supply website. It was over $800, it's now only $399.99. And lucky for me, they sent me a bundle to try right here, right now on the Floaty channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned. All right, let's open up the PMU pen by Bishop. You can see a very cool box here. It has these little drawers. And inside we have very nicely protected pink PMU pen. Second drawer. We've got matching accessories. We like that, we like matching. Turns out the PMU machine is pink. And it looks like we have a secondary, is this a secondary grip here? Yeah, yeah I think so. So having that extra grip is wonderful. Thank you so much for sending that as well. That's definitely part of the bundle. Um, it will enable me to give more of a narrow tip to the grip there. So nice, versatile uh, system. You can see the size also of this machine. It's a nice small size. Love that. And over here we have uh, the cord and it's purple, that's my favorite color. So yay, I happen to get that. So I don't know if that's standard, but either way, I like it. And it's a good quality cord. It's a Bishop cord. It's, um, it's really decent, very nice cord. And then we have our other accessories here. Standard grease. We have Allen wrench, replacement band, springs, and one special item that I noticed. This is a cam, so this would enable me to switch my machine from a 3.5 millimeter stroke to a 2.5 millimeter stroke. Why is that important? Well, this machine uh, at a 3.5 millimeter stroke is very good for normal skin, but for more sensitive clients, you might need the 2.5 millimeter stroke. If you're doing eyeliner, you definitely want the 2.5 millimeter stroke. Um, the 3.5 would be more appropriate for eyebrows and lips. And we can't forget the critical shorty battery that they sent me. I've never used a critical battery. Uh, a critical shorty battery is about half as much work time. So a regular critical battery is about eight hours work time. This one's about four. So that's the main difference with the word shorty in there. The connect um, is pretty cool. That enables you to use Bluetooth. All right, and there it is, the Critical Connect Shorty Battery. Super tiny, very appropriate for this PMU machine. There it is. It's really lightweight. Not quite as lightweight as some of the things I've purchased on Amazon, but <laughs> it's definitely lighter weight than it would be if it was twice the size too so that's nice a little less working time but with pmu projects typically your work time isn't quite as long uh, for smaller fine line projects my work time isn't quite as long so four hours should be sufficient yeah we have this charger here for it and that's basically it so i guess we should like plug it in all right, we got my critical battery. Cool. Nice. Let's connect it. There, 
are connected. Is it charged? Okay, yeah. <laughs> cool, it's 33%. Oh, it's 9%. It goes in 0.1 increments, which is great, um, but it is at 9%, so I'm just going to take a moment and charge it. Five minutes later. Turn it back on. We have the 0.1 increment uh, dial change, so that's great. Beautiful screen on the critical battery. We love that. And there it goes, starting up the PMU machine. So, sounds like a good little motor. Let's try it out. Okay, here is my silicone skeleton face. I needed an eyebrow drawn on a face, so this is what we got today. I happen to get this skeleton, if you're interested, from Real Skin, uh, and you can find them online. So Real Skin is a very good practice tool and makes for a great um, tattoo for beginners and even just doing things that are outside of your typical tattoo routine. So PMU is a little different. I'm definitely going to practice a lot on silicone before I ever would do it on somebody if I ever were to. Um, but let's do it on the skeleton right now. We're going to make an eyebrow and uh, we're going to use this brand new Bishop PMU machine that uh, obviously was sent to me by our wonderful friends at Ever After Beauty Supply. Okay, silicone skull check. Drawn eyebrow, check. We've got our Bishop PMU machine, check. Got a great new floaty grip. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And my critical shorty battery. Let's put that on there. Boom. All right, so we are going to make this eyebrow on the skull's face today. It is a piece of silicone from Real Skin. Uh, you can check out some of my past videos on Real Skin if you're interested. Okay, I'm gonna attach a PMU needle to the machine. This is a 14 gauge one round liner. It's a little bit thicker than a normal liner because it is such a small needle. Um, so, very tiny needle. Let's try it out on this skull. This cartridge is from Ambition Cartridge Needle. You can get them on Amazon. Follow link in the description below. Alrighty, let's open this up. So we got our nice itty bitty needle. And everything's matching quite nicely on this system. Let's turn it on. We've been charging our critical battery for about 20 minutes. Let's see how much more charge it's got going. All right, so holding steady there at 33%. Um, awesome. So almost halfway charged. Should be plenty for the demo, I'm thinking. I'm going to start my test a bit lower and then work my way up. Let's just start at a 5.5 and go from there. We're going to shade a little bit of micro shading from the edge uh, going forward into the eyebrow more. So let's start at the edge and we'll work our way in and we'll see if we need to make some adjustments along the way. Okay, we're at a 5.5 to start out and then we'll Work our way up if we need to. It's a really quiet system here. Very quiet. Got my awesome floaty grip. You can see it's a lot of good grippage going on there. The whole machine with the battery feels pretty lightweight. Should go a little higher. We're gonna try. Oh, 
Going pretty good with the lining at a 5.8. I just want to see. Yeah, stay at a 5.8 there. Okay. Now, for this example, I'm using regular ink. You would not do this on an eyebrow. This is not a PMU. Um, tutorial. This is just a demo of the Bishop PMU machine. But anyway, we have our rudimentary outline of the eyebrow here, and now we're going to start micro shading. So I did the outline quite easily at a 5.8. Um, felt really steady. I uh, forgot how hard it is to tattoo silicone, but besides that, felt really good. Let me just go down a little bit to a 5.5. I'm going to try shading in here from the corner. What an angle. Let's see it if I lift it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so I did an eyebrow on a skeleton. There it is. We have the micro shade. Uh, I tried to do the dark kind of to light at the at the outer part there, and um, easily with the one round liner, I was able to micro shade this uh, silicone skeleton. Um, I did it all at like a between a 5.5 and a 5.8, which is low so it's penetrating well um, at a lower voltage which is what you want you don't want to be using super high voltages for this kind of work um, you want to be able to micro shade uh, gradually blending in um, i know i got some practicing to do but i am very proud of my little skeleton eyebrow here Three round liners and five round liners are still considered pretty small. Three round liner, I would say, is more fine line and below. Um, I have both a three and a five and a ten gauge here, though, so I'm going to try them on the skeleton. All right, we'll start with the five round liner. Fourteen <laughs> percent. I'll take it. All right, we got the three round liner and the ten gauge in here. I was super lazy. I did that pupil with the five liner, but really got in there. I mean, like it did some damage to the silicone. So this machine is 
quite strong. It packs a little punch. It's definitely a professional machine. I'm liking it. I like the nice light stipple shade on this thing. I definitely think I'll be using this in my routine. All right, last but not least, we have a police needle here. This is a seven curve mag in a 10 gauge. Um, I happen to love police needles. I've had nothing but good things to say about them. You can find those on Amazon as well. Please follow the link in the description below. All my cartridges fitting on this Bishop beautifully. We've used a few different brands already just in this demo. Alrighty. Come down to a 5.5 and let's just, let's find one you can see. I'm gonna turn a little bit, there we go. Let's just find a little point to fill in the middle here. A little black packing. Beautiful. Yeah, so I'm at a 5.5 .5 volt right now, uh, and it's feeling like it's getting in there no problem with the seven curve mag. Nice black saturated point there. Very nice. I'm gonna do a little shading. All right, I'm seeing nice, really nice patterning in the shading here. Uh, very consistent, uh, rhythmic needle strikes going on. That's what that means. Nice, strong motor. Good patterning, very nice. Just get a little more shade on this eye. Weird to tattoo a cheekbone. Cool. So I'm really liking what I'm seeing here for shading with the mag. I love how light the needle strike is. It feels perfect for those really fine line, really lightly shaded things that you're going to be doing. My battery's beeping at me because it's dying. Uh, of course, when we got it, it was already a little low. All right, so yeah, very nice. So full black saturation, lovely shading, and like beautiful patterning. So obviously a great little machine right here. All right, that completes the demo on the skeleton with the PMU machine from Bishop. It comes again in that wonderful bundle with that universal battery from Critical. It's a Critical Connect battery, which means it has the Bluetooth, and it's a shorty, which means it's shorter, lighter, and perfect for PMU or light shading. I'm gonna use this machine in my shop for sure. Thank you so much Ever After Beauty Supply for sending it. I'm gonna use it for lighter shading projects, lighter lining and stippling. Please go to their website and take advantage of this huge sale. It was over $800, now it's just under 400. All right, thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Bye guys. Thank you. Bye.